into is the the best industry in the world. We are highly paid storytellers. Everybody has stories. And I guess the first thing we need to learn are two, two things. One is how to ask questions. The other one is how to tell stories. And the third one, if we are not yet good at telling stories, how to use tools that are telling a story in order to allow us to make contact, right? Ask a few questions. And then either tell a story or use a tool to tell a story. And then once again, ask questions. And if need be, again, tell another story or let somebody else tell another story. And again, ask questions. So this is really the process. When you really think about it, hold on. Since you guys are very, very special to my heart because you come from my home. You see, I live most of my life in Melbourne in uh, uh, both in the eastern, southeastern suburbs. So I come mainly from uh, Glen Waverley and Mount Waverley most of the years. Also had a few places up in uh, uh, St. Gilda and Caulfield. So I, do you mind if I'll ask which area of Melbourne are you from? Are you from the north side of Melbourne? Places like Laylor or where, where do you come from? I, I live in the north. Um... North. But I work in southeastern. So basically, um, I work in Dandenon. I'm familiar with uh, um, Mount Waverley. I'm familiar with St Kilda area and all those places. I live in Reservoir, beautiful Reservoir. Well, right next time heart. you next time you drive, say hello to my kids because I haven't seen them for two and a half years now because Melbourne is locked. I cannot come back <laughs> home. I cannot take them out. You see? Okay. Uh, so. With pleasure. Who else do we have? I see we have Hamdi with us also, which is really Hamdi that started uh, this topic that we started to discuss, which turned into today's presentation. Hamdi, are you with us, Hamdi? Yes, yes, I am, um, Ronin. I am with you, but I cannot mm -hmm. turn on the camera. Sorry. Okay, I'm assuming that everybody is what well, too comfortable in their pajamas not opening camera because they think they're holidaying at home what is yeah, the purpose absolutely. Saturday tomorrow. it's friday night Morning. okay yeah i understand and let me explain first of all and i would like each and every one of you to ask yourself the same question if i was your boss yeah if i was now the one that's paying your salary the one that's giving you the job and I tell you that we have a meeting and I'm expecting you to be on that meeting at two o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning, 12 o'clock at night, any time. And you know that I can fire you. Do you believe any of you would be comfortable now with your pajamas already or doing whatever is convenient? No. Ask yourself the question. Ah. You see, everything here starts with the way we treat our business. Me, IFRA, many leaders, we can sit here and we can give our time and we can sit and teach you how to do things and how to ask things and how to work on social media. We can teach you everything. The only thing we can't teach you is what truly makes people successful. You know what makes people successful? Putting the highest priority on everything, everything that we are doing. Now, none of you know, but I've spent the whole night up in the desert, in the mountain, in a 3,000 people headwind wedding. Those were with sheikhs that came from everywhere, from Saudi Arabia, from Cairo, from all over the world, they came. It's a big wedding. It's a lot of dancing. It's a lot of partying. And in order for me to do this training, as I was requested, I had to have less than three hours sleep, I had to have a shower, had to put this on, like clothes, and I need to come and be in front of you. Now, does it make sense to you that all of you will not be ready with cameras, with notebooks, with attitude that is ready to conquer the world? You see, that doesn't make sense to me. And I'm not here to be polite. I'm not here to be nice. I don't even need any of you to like me. 
because I know that if we can bring you to a place that you set your families on financial freedom, you're going to love us after. So I am here today to be very serious with all of you because the person that's going to get training from me is the person that I see. Okay, so at the moment I'm going to train Hodan because she's the only one that never mind what the situation was, she put something on her, she got in front of the camera and she says, let's talk business. So to all of you that are uncomfortable, ready, sleeping in bed, thinking that, oh, I'll go on to this webinar just because it's convenient or late or not late. Guys, you need to eliminate that mindset. You need to throw it to the garbage bin. Otherwise, all you're going to do is the same as I saw 90% of the people in my last 32 years. You're going to be glorified customers. Now, don't get me wrong. We love our customers. <laughs> really, we do. But our customers are not going to make money. So if you are here just because we have remarkable products, you're welcome to stay and enjoy. If you are here because you want to change your financial future, if you are here because you want to earn 10 times more than what they're paying you at work, then at least give it the same attitude, the same respect as you do to your jobs. Do I make sense now? I hope so. Okay. Because truly, <clears throat> we never fail in business because of skill. We never fail because we don't know how to do something. We fail because we don't have the right attitude. And I can prove it. So many of us, we come to this business, and this business comes after everything, after my kids, after my dinners, after my friends, after my uh, parties, my weddings, my everything else that I have to do. And then if I have some time, oh, maybe I'll pick a few phone calls and try and sell someone some toothpaste. That is not why we are here. We are here to learn how to build a business that will set us financially free. Okay, so make this the last time, the last, please, the last time, at least with me, when you come to trainings with me, I do not like to talk to myself. I like to talk to the people, to the partners. I like to see you, I like to hear you, I wanna hear your challenges, I wanna hear everything, right? So do not, I don't know, all the other webinars, everybody can have their own different attitude. But for me, if I am here and I'm on camera and I'm dressed, and believe me, I want to be in my pajama now sleeping. But if I'm here, why would any of you not be ready, sharp, video on, working? Okay, so keep that in mind. It's very, very important. Lucky for all of you, I've got Harden on a camera. Because if Hod and my sister were not on a camera, I would tell you, let's reschedule. I'm not doing the training. But as long as I've got one person I can talk to, role play, work with, I will do the training. Okay? If or before I start, would you like to comment anything on what I've just said? Because I think, you know, like me as an LD4, that's really what makes success, not convenience. Thank you so much, Brother Ronan. I love always, always inspiring us and, you know, pushing us to be better, to become better. You know, I, I, I am very, very, um, you know, uh, easy when it comes to training. I do most of my trainings, unless I have a co-host, it's just me on camera. So I love it that you're putting everybody to take action and to, to show that leadership. And I love the comparison that you use, right? None of us will show up to work and say, oh, sorry, you can't see me but here I am. No, it doesn't work like that. Also, I want to give a huge credit. I don't know if you can see, brother, Sister Zahra Hussein also turned on her camera. I can see No, her. I cannot. Oh, now I see you, Zahra. <laughs> Great. There we go. Pencil in hand. There we go. So we got Zahra and we got Hodan. Do we have anybody else that is going to join us on camera? Feel free. Oh! Yes! Hey, Dad. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, sisters. That's very good to start seeing some people. Oh, now I feel like we're working. Okay, anybody else feel free to join us uh, on the cameras. Why am I seeing Zara? 
under names, under under names. It's funny. I can see all the video open. Hold on, he back, and for some reason, Zara, your video is under Hamdi and under Ifra. I don't know why. Okay. Yes. And Never I mind. see Mike put his hand up. So Mike, I'm gonna give you the co-host as well. I believe Mike is ready as well. This is awesome. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Good morning. How are you? I am very, very well, Zahra. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you. Um, I think I'm special because I'm only the one from North America. It's 5.30 for me this time. So that's maybe why it's showing you different because I'm coming from all the way from North America. So thank you, Ronan. And I always come all the webinars, whether you are uh, hosting or someone else. I always like to learn more because always, always we learn, no matter how you know educated or age we are, we're still learning. So thank you. And this meeting is for everybody, at least for me, yes. So I'm here, um, maybe like 20 minutes later, my kids will go to school and, I'm, and I ask someone else to pick them up. That way I can write all the notes here it's very important for me. And also I want to pass all this information to my um, my team. And the Australia team, is, most of them are my team. So I want to see all of them on the camera and I want to see them taking notes. And we have meeting tomorrow night and I'm going to ask some of the, uh, the meeting today. So thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Australia, as I said, is very important for me. It's the place I was born. It's the place my family lives. Uh, and I'd be happy to uh, do a regular structure of training for the Australian teams on their own, maybe once a month, once every two weeks. I'll be very, very happy to do that. Uh, Australia, for most people that don't know, was actually the first country I've opened when I've joined GWT, which became Opulence later. Uh, and there are many, many, many sleeping partners in Australia that will probably start waking up due to everything that is currently happening through the Somali community. Seems like the Somalis are created in order to be world injectors. They go into all the countries, they start making some action, and everything else is starting to come around it. So uh, each and every one of us have something to bring to this universe. And one thing that I've seen in opulence about the Somali community, uh, you are great injectors. You start so many different territories. You are close. You work as a community. Uh, and you are beautiful people. So I have learned so much about your culture. And I just want to see this keep on exploding, exploding. I've actually used a lot of the stories of what the Somali community did around the world uh, with the leadership of uh, LD4 Ifra Hassan and many other great leaders in your community, I use it to every country that I open, specifically here in Egypt now, where I'm working with the Egyptians and with the Bedouins, and uh, that helps a lot, a lot. So thank you for everything that uh, your community is doing, and thank you to everyone in opulence that is really taking a part. So let's start today's, as I said, it's not a training. Uh, we don't have PowerPoints today. It's more of a structure that I would like each and every one of you to know what you're supposed to be doing every day and combining this with uh, some of the questions uh, that I was asked through the My5 in regards to how do I handle when people say this or people say that, uh, what do I do when people tell me it's too expensive, what do I do, right? So I want to cover most of those, but I want you all to have a a structure in your mind of what is really our business, because as I've started showing you here on the whiteboard, it's just a straight, it's 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 like a bead, you know, like a, a, a necklace, bead necklace, and you just move those beads one after the other, after the other. Every one of those is just another bead that we are moving, okay? So what is really first contact? First contact is the first time I'm going to connect with an individual. So in reality, a first contact has to be with someone I don't know, right? 
Otherwise, if I know it's no longer a first contact, I have contact them sometimes in my life before. But I like to call it a first contact, even with people that I know, because I consider it to be first contact regarding something with opulence, right? They could have been my family, they could have been my friends, but until I actually picked up the phone or sent a text, right, with in regarding to me wanting to expose someone to either better health, physically, mentally, or better financial health, if I want to do one of those things, that will be my first time to talking to this individual. And that can be my mother, my sister, my friend, anyone that I've spoken many times in my life with. But the first time I'm going to ask a question that would lead me to understand what I can be of use to them, what do I have that I can offer them that can help them, that would be considered by me first contact. Okay. And every day, this is what I recommend to you to do exactly what I do. Every day, send 20 to 50 first contact text, right? So this one we'll call it text. And also every day, five to 10 audio. I wish you could write this. I'm terrible with writing. Okay. Uh, I need to improve on the writing with a mouse on this whiteboard. So five to 10 audio and 20 to 50 text, first contact. So what does it mean? What is this 20 to 50? Have a look. 20 to 50, let me show you, since I've just started my my day now, let me show you my normal routine of my day. How do I do those 20 to 50 on text? And how do I do five to 10 in audio? Okay, it's very simple. Have a look. I will share my screen. And I will go. Let's see if everybody can see my screen. Okay, you see, I'm starting on Facebook, right? So if I want to make first contact, or any contact text-wise with 20 to 50 people every day, the best place to start for me will be to go to my Facebook home, right? Now in my Facebook home, every day, Facebook is gonna tell me how many people have a birthday, right? It's beautiful, this system. I just go to birthdays, you see? And over here, if it will move a bit faster. Over here, it tells me all the people today that has a birthday. See that? So each and every one of those are going to get on their wall a birthday wish for me, right? So I open this Word document that I've created and very simply, I go into my pre-ready birthday wish. Anyone that knows me knows I've got one birthday wish. It's my signature birthday wish. And every friend of mine on Facebook will receive on their birthday, a birthday wish from me. And I specifically, many people ask me, why is it the same birthday wish? The first answer is I don't know of anyone on any better wish that I can wish. And second, because as I said, it's my signature birthday. This is, this is where I want everyone as my friends on Facebook to know that I am investing five to 10 seconds on them, on their birthday to acknowledge them, right? So you see, I got my happy birthday, I copy paste it, and I immediately go and starting my 20 to 50, remember? This is one, this is two, this is three, four, five, whoop, five, right, six, whoop, there you go, six, seven, eight. We have any more? Yes, we do. A lot of people have birthday today. Nine, 
10, 11, right? And here, I don't have an option to leave on their wall, as you can see, only in a message. So I will open the message and I will leave them privately. See? Same happy birthday, privately. I don't have to do it on the wall. As you can see, I can do it privately here, right? So this is already 12. Remember I told you 20 to 50. So once I finish those, if I haven't reached my 20 to 50 yet, I will go next step to my LinkedIn, right? And in my LinkedIn, remember, I've got notifications. I go to my notification and once again, it will tell me everyone that is starting a new position. So I'm going to, I'm not going to do it now, but just so you understand, they're going to get a text from me saying, congratulations for your new position. Would love to hear more about it, right? Text, next person. You see, uh, this one has a birthday. So happy birthday, right? Everyone here in the notification, say congratulations, right? Say congratulations. So I basically send my happy birthdays, congratulations for a new job, congratulations for a new, uh, uh, um, uh, how do you call it, uh, a new pay raise, a new status in your job, first contact, first contact. And at the end of that first contact, I will say, would love to hear more about it or would love to be in touch with you, right? You, you can just add at the end of your text, just add one question, simple. Or even tell them, by the way, I have a question to ask, when's a good time for us to catch up? Right? So remember, if we go back here to what we call our first contact, okay? 20 to 50 every day. And as you see, I just did 15 in what? Less than three minutes, right? So nobody has excuse. Make sure though that you get yourself one of those ready, get a page that has everything that you need, right? Everything. This one is for new members joining Opulence. This one is a happy birthday, right? And this one, have a look. Those are already reply to happy birthday responses, right? Why? Pay attention. Everyone I said happy birthday is going to come back to me and say thank you or a thumbs up, right? Or any kind of comment. Look at the next step they're going to get. Remember we said second here, second connection, first one I've sent, and the second will be call to action. Call to action means asking permission. So have a look at my Word. Can everybody see my Word document now? Yes, thank you. So have a look. They've responded to my happy birthday or to my congratulation for your job, or to anybody, even if there is no reason, all I can do is make a little text that says, long time since we spoke, would love to catch up, are you open for a call, right? Or if it's someone I've never spoken to, I can easily make a text saying, hey, we're friends on Facebook, but we never had a chance to talk, are you open for a call, right? Simple text. Copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. Even if you're telling me, I don't have any friends. So I don't see the birthdays of many people. Then I will tell you our job is to be storytellers. How can we tell stories if we don't have friends? Let's start making friends. How do we make friends? We send to 20 to 50 people a short text. Hi, we are connected on LinkedIn, we are connected on Instagram, we are connected on Schaefer, we are connected on Facebook, but we never talk. Are you open for a call? Easy to make friends, right? Once I have sent 20 to 50 of those, it's very easy to see who's going to give me response, which is most of them will say thumbs up, thank you, and, and then they will receive the next text. Have a look. Thanks for your reply. 
Always remember my friends and virtual friends on Facebook on their birthday. In this particular case, it's for birthday replies, right? I hope you are doing great things. And have a look at my question at the bottom. Always a question. May I share with you some info about the best toothpaste in the world and the only one humans should be using? Simple? Very simple. I have two, when it comes to product, I have two main approaches. One is fountain of life, one is toothpaste, and toothpaste is actually becoming my favorite product to start the consumer relationship in opulence with everyone. Why? Because toothpaste, everybody knows what it is. It's much easier for me to, to explain antioxidants and the importance of fountain of life. Everyone's using toothpaste. So it's very easy to explain why our toothpaste is different to anything out there, right? So I prefer to run my offering today mainly on the toothpaste. And after that, I will get them to Fountain of Life, say from Revolution and the rest of the stuff. Okay, up to here, I'm just talking structure, just so you'll understand. Just structure, how do we actually, when we talk about this first contact thing, this thing here, Okay, how do I generate enough action in the first contact to allow me to fill my whole week with activities in order to get many customers, many partners? Okay, so you understand the text now of the first contact. In a second, we'll show you what happened when people come back from that particular text. Now, five to 10, what did I also say every day? Five to 10 calls every day, right? Five to 10 calls, because I want you to always be warm up, improving your verbal ability, improving your question asking ability. This is what is gonna make the biggest difference for you, okay? So 10, five to 10 calls are basically all to people I know, or instead of sending text, anyone that has a birthday, I can just go to my Facebook Messenger on their name and press call. It's very simple. If you have a reason to call, if I know that Zara has a birthday today, if I know that Mike has just gotten a, a, a new job, I don't need excuses. If I already know that, I can always pick up the phone and call instead of sending text. Mike will either pick up or will not. If he picks up, happy birthday to you. Hey, bro, congratulations for a new position. Do you understand what happens to Mike at that second? Wow, thank you. Thank you for caring. Thank you for being aware. Thank you, thank you, thank you, right? Every day, pick up the phone to five or 10 people still being shy and call them. Congratulate them about something you can find so many in LinkedIn, people you don't even know, they will appreciate you so much for pressing the call instead of text and saying, hey, I just want to congratulate you for a new job. Wow, thank you. Who are you? We've been friends on LinkedIn, we don't know each other. And I thought it's great that you have a good job, right? It's easy to do that, easy to make a like and trust, and I know that majority of your work will come from the 20 to 50 because this five to 10, you might call five to 10 people every day, but you might only catch one or two, right? So do not expect to catch the people. Most people I used to text today, but call, make sure every day you do five to 10 attempts to connect with someone over the phone and 20 to 50 send happy birthdays Etc. Right now, when we go to the second stage, once I've already connected 20 to 50 text and five to 10 people I call, do you understand how much pipeline, how full your pipeline will be? Only after one week, because after one week, you have created contacts with almost two to 500 people. It's just a text, it's a contact, right? So even if only 10% will come back to me, it still gives me every 10 days, 
20 to 50 prospects that have returned to me that I can then offer something according to what they want, right? So the first thing I want you all to know is like a, a farmer. We have to, we, we basically go to opulence and we buy bags of seeds. Now it's our responsibility every morning, every day to put those seeds in the ground, right? Putting the seed in the ground is the first contact, putting the seed in the ground. And then, right? Remember when you put the seed in the ground, there's gonna be responses and when there are responses, we want the second contact. And second contact, what we call first follow-up, second contact will be a call to action. It will be a question. Remember, a question. Never mind if it's by text or by audio. Have a look at this. Let's go back to here. Let's go back to sharing my LinkedIn. Let's see. Everybody can see my LinkedIn here. I'll go to my messaging. I'll go to my messaging to give you some ideas of what's happening every day, right? When we ask that simple questions about the toothpaste, remember? So let's have a look here at my messaging. There we go. Let's try and find a few, okay? Have a look at this, for instance. Uh, let's have a look at Pragya. I actually have my second follow-up with it today, but I want to show you how perfectly it works. So first connection with Pragya, as you can see, 30 of October, a few days ago, right? Hi, thanks for accepting my invite. Just wanted to make sure that some, someone isn't impersonating Hope you are thriving blissfully. And then I said, thanks. How have you been? May I share with some info about the best toothpaste in the world? You see, I don't even know the person yet. I haven't spoken to her yet, but she has connected me on LinkedIn. And I said, you know, may I share? And look at the response. I am great and I hope the same for you. Sure you can, right? What do I do? I usually leave a voice message at that point. I leave a voice message saying, thank you for being interested. And the biggest challenge in humanity when it comes to toothpaste was that we only had two options, with or without, with fluoride or without fluoride. And we all know fluoride kills bacteria, pathogen and virus, and it protects our gums and teeth. But we also know it's very poisonous to the rest of our systems and to our brain. So the other option was without fluoride. Many companies made eucalyptus, aloe vera, many, many toothpaste without fluoride, but they don't have anything to replace the fluoride, which means now after 20 years, our gums and teeth are worse off than if we were to use fluoride. So there was no solution until two years ago when a solution called medical grade microsilver came to the planet Please have a look at the three videos I'm sending you and let's talk after. That is all I did. That's a one minute message because I like to leave an audio message, not just to send a link. I want them to first hear me, right? And then I send them the link. Have a look. The 30 minutes promo. And then it says a bit deeper. That's the six minute toothpaste. And then it says the long truth. And what is that? The daily dose. That's teaching people about the horrific attributes of fluoride, right? And then what does it say? To order, use the link below. And I give them both opulence.com slash one n, right? Or I give them, if it's FOL, I give them IFOL.1, right? Just so they can order. So as you can see, some people will go and order. Some people will come back, right? As an individual, I'm interested, highly interested in holistic uh, well-being, right? She's continuing communication. My interests include mindfulness, meditation, da, 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 I may share. Okay, so now we start communicating because she did not go and purchase yet. And I'm not there just because I have one agenda. 
I am there because I want to be friends with Pragya and learn and see her advancement over the next 20 years. That's why she's on LinkedIn. She's not here just to buy something from me, right? So we communicate a bit more. And then I constantly keep in mind, I need to get on a Zoom call. I need to get on a Zoom call, right? And then as you can see, we're setting up the Zoom call, jumping on a Zoom meeting. And today we are doing our second follow-up already because through the conversation, through the first Zoom, she's already identified that she wants to try the toothpaste, but she's very interested in the financial outcome of what we do, right? So it might start as a toothpaste, but it's now moving towards maybe a partner. So I can show you endless. It doesn't make a difference how many of those I will go into. You can see that it's always the same. Every day, have a look. Every day, people will get the same question. You see? May I share with you some info about the best toothpaste in the world? Right, the only one humans should be using. And then again, well, thank you, Renan. Yes, please share with me the joys of such a wonderful toothpaste, my friend. Right, you must spread those seeds every day, every day, 20 to 50, and then five to 10 people talk to. Okay, so now we understand just in short, and I can do that on every platform, okay? <clears throat> we understand that everything in our uh, little picture here is a structure. Oh, I'm stuck here, one second. My pictures of all of us. Oh, there we go, now I moved. Okay, so we see that it's really first contact to second contact to third contact to fourth contact to fifth contact ongoing. Uh, I'm hearing someone have a question. Yeah, sorry, Ronan. We only see the whiteboard. I don't know where else you're looking at. We, only the whiteboard now. Yes, now only whiteboard. We saw. Wonderful. Like, yes. That that's what sharing the whiteboard. That that that's okay, Ifa. Okay, sorry. You you're referring to something else. So I thought we were supposed to be seeing something else. No, I went back to the to here because now we understood how to create the first contact, both on phone, both in text, right? It's easy. The, where we all get confused is usually our second contact and third contact. So our second contact, really, when you think about it, is what you've just seen a second ago, right? First contact was happy birthday or something or hi, we never spoke, let's talk. Second contact, I've already asked a question, right? And I gave you one example, which is toothpaste. The other questions I can ask, either of verbal or by text, is, right, is it okay if I will share with you the most powerful antioxidant on the planet, right? It's very simple. Is it okay if I will share with you the most powerful antioxidant on the planet? If they come back and say, what's an antioxidant? They're helping me because now I know that I need to first educate them about free radicals and antioxidants before they can understand the value of a strong antioxidant such as fountain of life, right? So I can ask about the toothpaste. I can ask about uh, uh, fountain of life. Those are my defaults. If I got on a call with you, right, and you basically told me that you're uh, whatever, you're unhappy with the fact that you have a, uh, acne in your skin in the face, right? Then my question will be, wow, is it okay with you if I will share with you the best, the best anti-aging skincare, facial skincare protection line in the world today? Most people say, sure, why not, right? So remember, it's just asking the, asking the permission. Is it okay with you if I will share with you? Don't just come and share, ask permission. If you ask the permission and shut up after the question, you will see most people will open the door for you and be ready to receive. When I don't ask permission, if I'll come to Zara and I say, hey, Zara, I have to tell you about this toothpaste. You have to listen, sister. It's wonderful. You have not given me permission yet. Now I am selling and you're rejecting. because. We all love to buy. None of us loves to be sold. We don't like people selling stuff to us. 
So if you ask permission and somebody tells you, go ahead, they're actually opening the door for them selling something to themselves, which is something they like, right? Is it okay with you if I will share with you the best toothpaste on the planet? Is it okay with you if I will share with you the best antioxidant on the planet? Is it okay with you, Mike, that I will share with you the best e-commerce financial platform on the planet? Ask permission, right? Because if people give you yes, they're open now to listen to you. They're open to receive a video. They're open for everything. If you did not ask permission, they are not open. Okay? Very, very important to remember those. Now, when I'm thinking about the, the ongoing connection, okay, to the sale. So I start with text. I start with phone calls. This is just filling in my pipeline of contact. Then my next thing is to guide them, to ask a question, to ask permission in order to expose them to something, right? Once they gave me that permission, this is where I need to learn how to work with links and prints. This is where I need, if they're in my vicinity, this is where I want to put the catalog. This is where I want to show them the product. If they're not with me, right, I have catalogs for Zoom anywhere, anywhere. Right? So I'll just see if I can share this with you because I want to go to the part, to the structure of what I do with them. So let me just maybe do this this way. So first contact, right? Uh, first contact. Sorry about that. Okay. Two will be call to action, right? Call. Ah, I know somebody knows how to do this with typing. <laughs> call to action. Can somebody tell me what would be a call to action after I've just explained it? And I say call to action. Does everybody know what I mean? Is it okay uh, with you? Ask for permission, permission or give a text or call. Well, asking permission to do something is truly a call to action, right? Because we're calling them to take action and tell us if it's okay for me to share or not. So it's a call to action, right? It's not just them listening now. They need to interact with me and say, sure, share with me, call to action, right? And then number three is the actual sharing. What is it that I'm sharing? Share. Am I sharing products or am I sharing a financial platform, right? What is it that I'm sharing? So share all product, product. Ah, you can see that in order to succeed in this business, you don't need to know how to read and write. It's not a problem. Product slash uh, um, business, right? Use the, yes. Sorry about that. Uh, should have given somebody else to write this. Okay, so now once I shared, what else do I have left? Anybody wants to guess? Follow up. Follow up. Remember that the word follow up just means my next connection with a person. Truly, the word follow up is makes me always laugh because if I want to have contact with Hodan for the rest of her life. We're going to have follow-ups for the rest of our life. Every time, the next time we speak, it's a follow-up, really. But in here, I always want it to be me giving and asking call to action. Me giving call to action. Me giving call to action. What is the call to action here? After I share the product, right? 
after I shared the product, a simple call to action might be, hey, hold on, after you've seen the videos of the toothpaste, how many toothpaste would you like to start with, one or two? What's the worst order? question I can ask? What's the worst? Order? Sorry, said it again, Zara? Is it take an order? I just ask a question. Now that you've seen the toothpaste, how many would you like to order, one or two, to start with? You see, that's a, that's a call to action. What's the worst question in the world to ask? Wow, Zara, tell me, did you see the videos? Yes. What did you think about it? Worst question ever. Never ask that. The only, do, the only thing you're doing when you're asking that is asking the other person to get confused, get lost, and go away. Right? No. We are here to call for the next action. Call for the next action. So if I shared something, now I want to ask for the action. Right? Hey, hold on. How many balls of Fountain of Life would you like to start with to try? You know why we don't ask those questions? Because we are afraid to receive the opposite answers. We're afraid to receive, ah, oh, no, no, I'm not ready to buy it. Don't get panicky. Every call to action is a positive call to action. Everyone. I because it's more than. Have a good one, please. Please say it again, hold on. You, you said something and I missed it. Hold on. You're muted. Unmute yourself, please. Uh, sorry, was that my, uh, my internet? I think it's a bit down. Um, I would say I would like to try one place. One? Perfect. I am then right, immediately. Right. Perfect. Let me show you how to download yeah. the app to your phone because if you're going to now order one or two bowls of FOL, right, it's a purchase over $75 and you're going to get a spin the wheel. So let me show you how to download. Go to your Apple Store, go to your Google Play, download Opulence Global. If you're with me, I'll do it with you. If you're not with me, I'll do it on Zoom with you, right? Now you already have the application. And now I'll help you to sign up for free. And I will show you how to make your orders and I will show you how to do spin your wheel, right? But, and it's a big but, we are here today because it's not 100%. Every person we ask how many toothpaste you want, not everyone will tell us two, right? A lot of them would say, oh, I want to think about it. Oh, I'm not sure. Or I'm not ready to buy now, right? Any one of you had those things before? So what does it really mean for me? They still do not have enough value for my product. This is not Ronan they are rejecting, right? They're not telling you, Ronan, because you're ugly, I'm not going to buy toothpaste from you. No, they're not rejecting Ronan. They are just really telling me, I don't see the value. And if they didn't see the value, if they don't see the value, I know they did not watch Daily Dose. I know most likely they didn't see the stuff I shared with them because every human being in their right mind that knows there is no other solution in the world, either fluoride poison or no fluoride destruction, if there's only one solution and they are aware of it, who, which parents will choose to feed their kids poison? No, no, no one. So if they do not yet jump on the toothpaste, that means they don't understand yet, right? So if they don't understand yet, will I give up on them? No, no. I will again ask, so hold on. After you've seen the video, right? How many toothpaste would you like to start with to try? One or two? Give me objections. Give me everything you want. This is why we're here today. Uh, 
Um, one each, I would like to try one fountain of life and the amazing toothpaste you're talking about. Wonderful. So now I register you as a VIP customer and it's easy, right? But let's see if, if I don't get these type of responses. What do I do? Right? This is what I want to say. So if, if your answer will be, no, I'm not ready yet. Okay? I would say, I totally understand it. It takes me time to make choices also. What I'd love to do is actually connect you to another one of uh, the partners, someone I think you are going to get along very well with, Hoda, and her name is Ifra Hassan. Is it okay if I'll get her on, see if I can get her on a call with us? You see, three-way call. If I am stuck, three-way call. Why? Because if I do not know how to ask the next question, let's say I just started two days ago, I need to always be backed up by my upline. I need to always have the ability to call someone that knows how to ask the question, right? It's very important. So my next step, when we talk next step, next step, next step, right? Me introducing, making contact. Second step, me calling to action. Is it okay for me to expose something? Third step, right? Expose something. Fourth step, call to action again. How many do you want to buy? No, I'm not ready to buy. Okay. Do you have any particular question? Is there something you didn't understand? Or, hey, I know exactly how you feel I was the same. This is a sentence I love to say. I know how you feel. I was the same. So you make them feel good. Not like, hey, they're crazy. No, I was the same. Everyone's trying to push me things. I never know what's the best to find, right? Let me get on a call. One of my partners that has really helped me, right? And bang, I bring a three-way call. Always that. Remember that. Bring the three-way call if you do not comfortable yet to ask the questions yourself, okay? Uh, so now, basically... When we are talking about follow-ups, we understand that I can never, ever stop a process with any human being on the planet. I'll ask you simple questions, my sisters, my brothers. Do you believe there is anyone on this planet that does not deserve to have the most healthy toothpaste on the planet? Do you believe someone is so bad that they deserve to have rotten teeth and dentists and high paying bills, anyone? No, no one deserves that. Which means that every time that you make contact and in your mind you're going to expose the medical grade micro silver toothpaste to someone, you are basically doing Allah's work. Think about it, right? So you don't have to die. And you need to always learn how to lead the process. Hi, how are you doing? Is it okay if I will show you the best toothpaste in the world? Showing the toothpaste, ask the question. How many would you like to order? I'm not ready to order yet. Well, I know how you feel. It was confusing to me. Let me connect my part. Okay, if need be. Three-way call. Another thing that I want to share with you today before we will open it to all of you to ask me questions, to do role play, to handle objections, I want to give you all an idea. If you basically know how to operate with Facebook, with Schaefer, there are some platforms that allow us to create a poll. LD for Ifra Hassan, if you may join me for a second, uh, maybe just by audio. Do you know how to, do you guys know that you can actually create a poll on Facebook and send it to every one of your Facebook friends? Please tell me yes, no, we know, we don't know. Hi, Ronan, thank you so much. What an amazing training. So busy writing everything down. I have seen, to answer your question, uh, people doing it. I have never done it myself. So if you can take a minute to show us, it would be amazing, brother. Maybe that is not the perfect scenario for me to actually start going in through the polls itself. There probably should be a training on its own. 
uh, and for me that I can improve too. But there is a feature both on Facebook and on other that you can actually create a poll, basically create a question, even on Instagram. I've just actually put a poll on Instagram uh, and the people had to answer yes or no, right? That's a simple poll. But I just want to share an idea with you. What happened if every one of you will just write down a simple poll that says to everyone, please answer. If you had to choose an area for improvement, which would you choose? And then put four questions, multiple choice. Physical health, mental health, financial health, or spiritual health. What would happen if you send a poll like this to everyone you know on social media and you get the responses from so many people telling you exactly, I want to improve my physical health or my financial health or my mental health or my spiritual health. And you get answers. You know how many leads just that will bring you. Because then I take all the ones that have financial health and I give them a text. Thank you for answering the poll because you'd like to improve your physical health. Is it okay with you if I'll expose you to the best toothpaste in the world, the highest level antioxidant in the world? Is it okay with you if I'll expose you to the safe home room? Revolution, which literally changes people's physical health for life, for good. You see, you can do a poll like that, and that will give you all the next action call that you need. Somebody says, I want to improve my financial. Is it okay with you if I will share with you the most powerful e-commerce business platform on the planet? Right? Easy. What I would like to do in the next training that we'll have for the Australian or for, for anyone, I would like to do in English to show you how I do the whole safe home revolution in 10 minutes on Zoom. Right? Because I want you all to have the tools to be able to build your business and get customers without our exposure webinars. You see, we have many, many webinars that we call a business tour, right? That usually talks about the products and our business. But I've seen many mistakes. I've seen many people utilize those webinars in order to cut corners. I've seen so many people call someone and say, hey, how are you doing? I want you to get on a webinar. That's because they are cutting corners. You see, every person, every person, let me share my whiteboard again. Every person has to go, right, through step one to step two to step three, minimum. I prefer even step four before we asking them to make a big decision like starting a business. Network marketing, the old network marketing was trying to do this. Only one. They're trying to bring 100 people into a room, create massive hype. Join, 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 join. And then you've got 100 people that nobody knows anything. Nothing. And you cannot even teach so many people so quickly. Now, most people, if they make a business decision from knowing nothing after one hour presentation, I know for sure they have made an emotional choice and not a proper business choice. Think of every one of you. If you're going to buy a house, if you're going to buy a business, if you're going to buy a sh pizza shop, is there any chance that you, from the minute that you decide to buy a pizza shop, any chance that on the same day, just because you went to go and see one pizza shop that sells itself, any chance you'll buy it on the same day? No. You'll do a due diligence. You'll have a look at the books. You'll talk to your lawyer. You go and see if you have finance, you, right? Every decision in life takes time. I know why the network industry has done this. 
because most people fail on the follow-up process. So they know if they don't get the majority of the people that come to some meeting involved, they know that we will lose 90% of them. Why? Because the person that brought them today will not properly follow up with them tomorrow. So that's why we've all pushed us to try to get everything done in the first go. On the other hand, if you literally do what I do, make first contact by text or audio, right? Then expose something small, a product, and then call to action, see where they are regarding that. And then maybe then bring them to a webinar or to a three-way call with an upline and then to a webinar. By the time they come to the webinar, they've already engaged, they had a sleep or two. They've already seen a product, they've seen maybe the Safe Home Revolution, they've spoken to another partner. Now they're coming to the webinar that we are doing in all languages every day all over the world, right? Business tours. When they come there, they're ready. They feel they are a part. They're not making a big decision one time. They have gradually grown into an educated business decision. Now, I don't need someone to grow gradually into a decision to use a toothpaste. No, but I do need them to move gradually into a decision of investing $2,000, right? That's a tougher decision to make than buying a toothpaste or trying. So always remember, put yourself in their shoes and ask yourself before you were involved, right? What were the things you felt comfortable? What were the things you did not feel comfortable? And I know that anyone that knows how to take a prospect through more than just one step, if they can take them through three steps or through four steps, you are going to get much better results, better partners, and definitely, definitely uh, you will have uh, a better rapport with your partners on that level. So remember, we spoke about a lot of different things today. We spoke first about how to generate first contact and what numbers, 20 to 50 texts, five to 10 phone calls, Write it in your MO box, fill in your daily sheets like any other job in the world. You must keep track of your action, keep track of the results from these action, keep track of the data in order to literally give our prospect a professional experience, different to the ones they're experienced in many, many other companies out there because they don't have a system and a structure, okay, or a proper one. So this is number one. Number two, I ask a question, right? Is it okay to expose you to? Is it okay to share with you the best toothpaste in the world, the best uh, antioxidant in the world, the best financial platform in the world, right? Number two. Number three, after you share, ask the question. Now that you've seen the toothpaste, how many would you like to start with to try? One or two? Now that you've seen Fountain of Life, how many would you like to start with to try? One or two? One or six? Most people prefer to take six. It saves them a lot of money. Right? And get the answers. Don't be afraid of no. Don't be afraid of I'm not ready. Don't be afraid of I need to talk to my partner. Don't be afraid of that at all. Just remember, whatever they come up with, I go to the next step. Might will be my next step. My next step will be either I know how to ask more questions myself or I'm going to bring an upline or I'm going to say, look, I know how you feel. I felt the same way. It's always hard for me to buy things when there's so much stuff out there. Yeah. And things are a bit tight at the moment financially. So my suggestion is what helped me is to actually come and see a webinar. Allow me. Is it okay with me? Would you, if I will invite you as my guest to the next webinar, the, the next business or product webinar uh, in two days from now, right? My next step, next step, next step. If I am not yet ready, if I just joined two days ago, there's going to be somebody above me with more experience that can help lead me. 
I want to be there to learn. And remember, whatever we don't know how to do yet, it does not mean that I put it to my upline to do for me. No. It just means I'm going to use my upline and I'm going to be the best student on that call, on that webinar, because I need to learn what my upline is doing so next time I can do it myself and I can help my downlines. Right? With me up to here? Okay. Wow, time flies. How long have we done at 12.30? So are we now already one hour and 20 minutes? Sister Ifra Hassan, please guide me. Yes, yes, brother, we are. It, everybody's enjoying it. Everybody's still here. I love it. Maybe what we could do now is uh, ask, uh, open up for questions. I'm sure Hamdi, who was the person who really started us off, would have some questions. So maybe we can start with Hamdi. And anyone else who has questions for our brother, please, now is your time. Okay, so I have a question here from Yulia. She says, what do you do or say when someone says they're not ready to buy yet? So I think you cover that. It's, it was a while ago she wrote that maybe. No, it's okay to cover it again, again, again. Those are the questions we have every day. I always remember that my job is to ask another question. Always. When somebody says, I am not ready, I need to ask another question. Right? So my other question is probably something like, Yulia, I get that, but I do know that even if you're not ready, the bacteria and viruses that are destroying your teeth and gum are ready all the time. So do you mind if I'll ask you what is actually delaying you or stopping you from getting some toothpaste today and trying it? Right? That's a question. Now they need to come with the answer. And we all know the answer. Either they don't have value for the product or they are struggling financially with their life and they think, ah, oh, that's going to be another expense. One of the two. I need, that's why I like to do role plays because when you ask me questions and I show you how to ask another question, you will see that every answer you will give will lead me to the next step. Right, so if, if you'll allow me, if you can uh, maybe be Yulia, I don't know why Yulia, is Yulia with us on the call now? Is she on audio? She is. I tried to make her a panelist a while ago. I'm not sure if it's uh, Yulia's end or my end. Let me try again. Not sure, but usually these type of practices are really good when we do role play. So you see, if you pretend to really be the, the prospect, I can show you in live how I handle the situation, how for every objection, I come with a question. For every objection, I come with a question because I want the truth to come out. I want them to tell me the truth. And the truth might be, it's not the right time for me financially uh, or any other question. But let, let me ask you, Yulia, if you are available to uh, communicate verbally, maybe if your question was, um, I am not ready to purchase at the moment. And I said, well, I totally get that, though the viruses and bacteria are ready every day to attack you. Do you mind if I'll ask you, Yulia, what is currently holding you back from getting yourself a toothpaste or two to try this? I'm just not sure why this one is better than everything I can buy cheaper. Wonderful. Then in that case, uh, I remember that I was very much similar to you. You know, we are getting many people trying to tell us this is good, this is good. Uh, I think the best thing is maybe for, uh, is it okay if I will invite you uh, tonight to a product crossfire, just so you can see some other people's experiences with their toothpaste and you can probably better understand why it's so important to use something without fluoride, but that can still protect your gums and teeth. Is it okay if I'll invite you to a, to a product crossfire tonight? Yes, sure. I would love that. 
Okay, so you see the next step, the next step. And as long as I've done the next step, there is a continuation. I could have also said, wow, Yulia, I so much get you. I was also very confused in the beginning why this toothpaste, why the other one. You know what really helped me was actually to talk to my business partner. Do you mind if I'll invite our business partner and maybe uh, they can chat with us and tell you why they are using it? Is it okay with you, Yulia, for me to invite my partner? Yes, sure. Why not? Okay. So you see, either I bring a three way call or I bring them to the next prosperity, product prosperity call. Uh, usually for toothpaste, for Fountain of Life, I prefer to bring a quick five minute upline call, a three way call, because it's a product, it's nothing. Actually, most of us, if you do the first parts as I've shown you correctly, you'll never get to an objection because a toothpaste is nothing to order. It's not like a $2,000 investment in a business. It's a toothpaste, right? So most of the time, if we do the beginning correctly, we will not find objections when it comes to something like toothpaste. Fountain of life might require a little bit more engagement for the person to know because they need to understand antioxidants. They need to understand anti-inflammation and the concept of reduction of pain. But toothpaste, everybody knows what toothpaste is supposed to do. And we have a remarkable six minute video to explain. And we have a three way call with an upline and we have a prosperity call. What I really wanted all of you to adopt today is not to wait for the once a week tour that somebody does in order for you to bring all your prospects and hope that something will happen. I want to show you that we are in a business of personal contact. There is no replacement than me talking to Mike face to face. No replacement in the world to that. This is interaction and this is better than videos, better than links, better than everything. The links and the prints and the links are designed for us to actually not talk too much. They're designed for us to just be nice. Hi, Mike, how are you doing? Right? I know you're in Sydney. How is work doing? Great. Is it okay with you if I'll expose you to the best toothpaste on the planet? Sure, then, why not? Hey, you know the problem with toothpaste, we have with fluoride, without fluoride, short audio, check those three videos and let's talk. Once I talk, hey Mike, you saw the videos? Yeah, you understand everything about why not use fluoride? Yeah, great. How would you like to start with one or two? Would you like to order one or two toothpaste to start with to try it? Simple, I wanna think about it. I said, well, you can think about it as long as you want. Just remember the virus and the pathogen that are killing your teeth every day. I'm not thinking about it. Do you mind if I will connect my partner to this call? Because I was also very skeptical in the beginning, and he helped me to understand. Do you mind if it's all right with you if I bring my partner on board? Right, if I need a three-way call, if I need that help. But we need to know that as long as I never stop my follow-up, as long as I never stop contact with someone, at some stage, sooner or later, they will, without a doubt, become or my customer or my partner. It is not possible any other way unless they really don't like you for some reason. And that means we need to become better people, but and they will go and buy it somewhere else. But please understand, everyone, if we are the one, the only one in the world that has a true solution for toothpaste, how is it logical that we are not selling 20 a day? If you're not promoting and actually having 10 people buying this toothpaste, it means you are not yet fully understanding the real challenges humanity have in this subject. 
Please understand what I'm telling you. There is no other solution for toothpaste. There is no other. Either with fluoride or without fluoride, they are both garbage and will ruin something. Medical grade micro silver, no parabine, no aluminium, no fluoride, healthy, kills bacteria and pathogens. It's the only solution. So please understand that if you don't have massive amount of customers buying it, it is because we have not improved the system yet. We do not know how to keep it short, sweet, and ask questions instead of being salespeople. Just ask the question. Hi, how are you doing? Is it okay if I'll expose you to the best toothpaste on the planet? That's it. Keep it there. Any other questions? Oh, uh, yeah, um, Ronan, I've got a question. Please, Mike. Yeah, hey. Um, so I, when you're booking the three-way call, um, how long does it take for you to get back to, like, someone for it? Um, do you have to tell your prospect that you're, you're going to book it? Like you're gonna book the three-way call and then that you're gonna get back to them. Like that I that is understand. Yeah, that is totally up to you and how well you operate. For me, I prefer every time I have a contact with someone, yeah, I prefer my my five to be ready. So I will start my day going to my my five group and saying, Today I've got four like and trusts. I want you all to be ready and available for me in case I need you, right? Give us the idea of times I'm going to have between this time to this time. Now, each one of you supposed to have five people in your My5 group in different time zones, which means we can cover each other. If one of us is sleeping, the other one is awake. If one is on a holiday, the other one is available. And if we know Mike might need us today, right? We might keep a closer eye. And then if you're with a prospect and you have an objection, the only thing you have to say is, wow, Yulia, that is a great question. I really want to see what my partner has to say about it. One second, go to the My5, type, is anyone available for me now for two minutes? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Now, if by some fluke, all the five people are not available, which which I would like to know if it happens in my organization because it should not happen, right? Maybe there is people that are not active on that My5 group. We need to keep our My5s like our car. We need to change oil, put gas. We need to make sure the people on my My5 are active. They can help me. And if not, we get someone else. No problem. The next person, the next person up the line. But we want to have a My5 group that's available to be able to pick up the phone on Messenger in two seconds and say, hey, Mike, how are you doing? Do you need me? Yeah, I'm just talking at the moment to Yulia. Oh, actually, you just missed me. I was looking for you because it took me five minutes too late, right? I was talking to Yulia, and I was really wanting you to share your experience about toothpaste. Sure, no problem, Mike. Do you want to see if she's available now? Or maybe we can schedule a call for the three of us for tomorrow or maybe later today. Right. Remember. So, if, they, so, so if, if they're not, if they can't instantly get to you, they will eventually, like the My Five will eventually get to you. If not, you need to replace your My Five. Yeah, mm. you need to get serious people in your My Five that are available between five people to be able to be available most of the time. Right now, if you give us a Heads up, if you tell us today, this is my schedule, I've got four people I'm going to talk to, most likely between this time and this time, I will need someone for a three-way call. At least we are prepared, we know. Worst case scenario, none of us could do it. You tell your prospect, it's okay, I'll get back to you. Give me a time, give me two different times for tomorrow that you'll be available, I'll get my partners. But I prefer the My5 to be sharp and to be ready because it takes two minutes. It does not have to be two-hour conversations. It does not, because if Yulia just told Mike, I'm not sure about this toothpaste, and Mike say, you know what, I was the same as you, 
And the person that really changed my life was this guy called Ronel. Let me see if I can get him. Hey, Ronel, are you available for the three record? Hi, Mike. How are you doing? Hey, I'm talking to Yulia. Hi, Yulia. How are you? I understand from Mike that you were contemplating to try our toothpaste. Allow me to tell you, please don't contemplate. Just order it because only when you try it, you will understand why it is so different to everything else in the world. And not only are you going to love it. I understand. I understand. So you want right to, now I'm a third to, party that helps you. Yeah. So I understand you want to call call the partner uh when when you have the chance, sort of thing. Let them know on your my five that you're gonna have three-way calls if you can. Let them know what times to keep an eye between this and this. Okay, I know Mike needs me at this time. Right. And if I'm busy, I can contact the only your my five and I can say, hey, I, I tag. Right. Let's say that you have on your my five, Ifra Hassan, Hamdi and Yulia. So I'm going to tag Ifra Hassan, Hamdi and Yulia. And I'm going to say, guys, Mike has calls today. I'm going to be busy doing a presentation. Can you keep an eye for me on Mike? Right. We can yeah. communicate in order to help each other. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? So, so if I'm if I'm speaking to a prospect. Right. And um, let's say I, I tell him something and then I, then I say, I'm going to call, um, you know, one of one of the partners. Right. Can I do that? Can I instantly call? Can I just like instantly call you and be like, sure. Try. Yeah. Try. You can try. It will be better if you let people know what times. Right. And it's always better not to count on one person in your my five, but to allow all your my five to be able to help you, right? Because if you are going to contact me and I'm sleeping, it's not going to help you, <laughs> right? You're, you're in Australia. I am currently in Egypt. There is nine hours between us, which means, right, if you are now, uh, let's say it's your lunchtime, and you're talking to someone, most likely if you're going to try and contact me, I'll be asleep. Yeah. Right? So that's why my fives across the world. And that's why the more communication you have with your my five, the more preparation, the more useful they can be for you and for everybody else. Yeah. Because remember, we, we, we are all volunteering our time to each other in order to be a more effective machine. Right? We want to be more effective. We want to make sure that if our new people already getting the guts to go and pick up the phone or speak to someone, we know they are fragile. We know they don't know the questions. We know they're not sure exactly how to approach. We want to be here for them. And that's why we want to keep it really simple. All you need, happy birthday, congratulations. Or if there is no reason, just send a text. We're connected on Schaefer. We never actually spoke. Are you open for a call? And then in a call, never mind if it's text or audio, it's the same thing. Where do you live? What do you do for a living? Once you got the answer, the next question is, is it okay with you if I will share with you the most powerful toothpaste on the planet? Easy. I'll tell you what's not easy when we start to talk. When we start to talk and don't shut up and we think everybody's so happy to hear us. No, people happy to talk. Much more difficult to listen. So if you have a prospect and you know the shortest way that you can speak the least and get them to speak more, they are selling themselves on a concept. The more you talk, the more you push them away. The less yeah. you talk, the more questions you ask, they need to answer the question. Do not ask questions like, what do you think? That's an open question. People get confused with that. I don't know what I think. Ask them, how many toothpaste would you like to order? That's an easy. One or two, even ask them. It's the same when you want to meet with someone. Hey, let's catch up tomorrow. When will be better for you? Five in the evening or 10 in the morning? You already give them options. You give people option, they will choose. You ask them to think you are 
you are losing so many people. Keep it simple. We like simple, multiple choice. Yes, no. Right? We like it simple. Ask the questions that most of them will be a yes or no answer. Right? Think about it. I can ask Ifra Hassan, what did you think about my training? That's an open question. Right? Or I can ask Ifra, hey, Ifra, regarding my training, would you say it was good or not good? Right? That's an option that, that, that makes it easier. I hope that answers your question. My fives are your my fives are your home. My fives are the thing that you want to communicate with daily. You want to share every night. What did you do today? Hey, spoke to 10 people, sent five people text, and I love you all. Every night. This is your accountability group. Right? This is your engine for success. Know how to communicate with your My5. Know every one of your My5. Speak to every one of your My5 on video at least once so they can get to know you and you get to know them. Because if you do that, I promise you they will be more available for you. Okay? Yeah. Thanks, Ronan. Pleasure, Mike. It's always good to see the Sydney contingent with us. Ifra, shall I get to give the call back to you to finalize that, or do we have more questions? Because I can be here for hours with you, with all of you, because you're all so important for me. Thank you so much, Father. I do see uh, two hands raised, Hivag and Zahar Hussein. They're both panelists, and uh, we have Berlin as well. So, Hivag, go ahead, my sister. Um, okay, thank you, Ifra. So, hello, everybody. My name is Hebak Alma. I'm in New Zealand. Sorry, my voice is getting a bit deep. Um, I think it's time to sleep. So, um, but I wanted to ask um, two questions. Um, a lot of the questions I had have already been asked throughout the training. Um, but one of the questions I would like to ask is, um, people, um, like when you ask that um, call to action, the second time may I share this with you, then they say no, so straight away, right. what do you do? And my other question is, I get a lot of people say, you know, I send the video to them and they would say, you know, I'm busy or I was working and they sort of never watch the video. So even when after I follow up, hey, you know, I knew you were working today, you know, how was work? Did you end up watching the video and all that sort of stuff? It's like sort of delaying it. So what do you do from what do you do with that reply? I immediately understand that I have done something wrong. You see, Ibak, if you do what I said, there is no room for someone to be able to do those things. Why? Think about the logic. First, I ask you permission. And if you truly think of all the communication you had with most people, you will see that you did not ask permission. You actually just came and exposed them to something, to something that you love, something that you believe in, something you think is good. But most of us do not come to someone and keep it that simple. So when you're talking about people not watching a video, most likely was it a video of a product or was it a business that you wanted them to, to be exposed? I find many people exposing people both to a product and to a business at the same time. And that is a mistake. You want to always expose or to a product or to a business. Now, I'm trying, to, obviously just telling me what you said is not role play because I need to go case by case specifically and see how you started it. What did you say? What did they say? When did you send them a video, right? If, as I said, if you just call someone, hi, Hibak, how are you doing? Listen, I'm going to send you a video. Please watch it and let's talk. The chance of them watching it will be zero. Zero, right? But if I will ask you the right questions, right? For instance, Hibak, how are you doing? Let's do some role play. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you fine, yeah. Wonderful. We have not spoken since I was on a road tour to New Zealand. It's been a long time. How's the family? 
They're good. They're good. You know, we never had much chance to talk, and I don't know what you're doing at work now. Well, what is it that you do for a living now, back home? I work as a healthcare assistant. Healthcare, which means you care about people. Yes. And about your family, right? Yes. So let me ask you, if I may, if you could have improved one of the following, physical health, mental health, financial health, spiritual health, which one of those would you like to improve the most on? Mental health. Mental health. Yes. Totally like me. We need to be happy, right? Mentally, we need to be happy. What usually stops us from being mentally happy? Usually physical health not so good or financial health that puts us in stress that is not so good, right? Right. So in your case, which would you think needs improvement, the physical or the financial, in order to improve your mental? Financial. Like most of us, we're chasing our tails, working our butts off, but never get paid what we truly deserve, right? Right. So tell me, Hibak, is it okay with you if I will expose you to the best e-commerce financial platform on the planet so you can bring home an extra five, ten, maybe a thousand dollars a week? Yes, that would be great. Perfect. So if I will send you a short video, would you watch it sincerely in order to allow us to have a chat tomorrow deeper about that? That will save us some time. Um, I'm actually working tomorrow, but maybe my day off. Okay, so I think you'll be working most of the days, right? This is what, that is our issue. We probably work a lot and don't get paid enough, right? Yes. Okay, so will it be worthwhile investing half an hour to watch a video that maybe will give you a chance to improve your financial outcome? If I send you this video, can you watch it before we talk tomorrow? I will give that a try. Well, can I be honest with you, Hibak? Yes. Trying is something humans do in order to leave a back door open in case they fail. Right. It's better not to try. If you truly want to improve your financial life, you need to find a day that you call me and you say, Ronan, I have 30 minutes now to watch a video and I am ready to change my life. I'm ready to make money. When you are ready for that, why don't you call me, Hibak, and I will then give you the video. Okay? okay. Yep. Okay, you have a wonderful day, and I'm going to my next prospect. Have you seen what I've done now? Yes, I did. And I've I, I taken totally it away I from you. That, I totally do agree that, you know, I don't ask those questions, but sometimes what happens is I'll share something, and somebody sort of will ask me the question. And they'll be like, hey, I'm interested in this business. I want to know more about it. So I'll be like, okay, you know, I'll send them um, um, this little short video of just, you know, how the business works. And if we're explaining that it's a short video, so it's just the business side of it, not the product side of it. And then sometimes they will watch, but they will be like, oh, you know, um, I don't have the money. Or sometimes they'll be like, oh, wait, no, wait, I now you're going, wait, 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 now you're going to another objection. I don't have money. That's a different objection. And we need to handle that one differently. But first we said, how do we get people to watch the video? Remember? I'm yes. sending people video, but they're not watching it. So what I wanted to show you is a big difference between selling and consulting. What I just did is consulted you, and I took it away from you, right? Because you told me I'll try. I'm not sure if I'll see it, if I'll have a free day, free day. Now, what does that mean? It means you, if I will now send you the video, I have just destroyed the value of my company and my video. Okay. No, I will not give you something. You are not doing me a favor. I am doing you a favor. You are the one that wants to improve your financial life. You are the one that wants to make another thousand dollars a week. So if you are the one that wants to do that, why will I let you have an attitude in front of me? 
right? So I will ask the question and I want you to ask those questions before you give someone a video. Mm -hmm. Ask them. Definitely. Tell me, Hiba, if I'm going to send you a video of 30 minutes, how fast can you watch it so we can talk tomorrow? Right, okay. Now, if you're going to tell me I don't have time, I'm not going to send you this video. I'm going to say, well, he back in order to make $1,000 a week, you need to be able to find the minimum time to watch a 30-minute video. If you do not have time for that, you don't have time to make money. Me sending you the video is a waste of time. Why don't you get back to me when you are serious and when you do have the time, and then I will share how to change your life. Now, if you have that attitude, what do you think will happen to the person in front of you? I will probably be different response. Of course, different. Yes. Always think how you are with your kids. Always. I always ask myself, remember how much your kids taught you, Ronin. Because our attitude towards our kids when we teach them is very different to our prospects, right? Why? Because we know that we know more than our kids. We know it's our responsibility to teach our kids. Yeah. Right? The same yes. with our prospects. Our prospects, they can be Einstein, Tesla, they can be the, 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 the Prince of Wales. Still, yeah. I know that they don't know what's free radicals, what's antioxidants. They definitely don't know about medical grade micro silver. They don't know that we took two raw materials and created the best safe home revolution available to humanity. They don't know, which yeah. means yeah. I know more than they know, and I need to remember that. So when someone tells you, ah, ooh, I don't have time, I don't have this, when they do that, they don't have enough value. If they had the value, believe me, they would behave very differently. How do I know that? Very, very simple. And this is where I will finish and pass it on to Ifra today. And I want you all to think about that. Every human being, that you pick up the phone and say, I would like you to come to my house now for a one hour presentation, right? If they say no, it's because they don't have the proper value to your invitation. I'll give you an example. If I will call Mike and I tell him, Mike, I want you to drive 10 hours from Sydney to Melbourne, to come and see a business presentation in my house, most likely Mike will say no. On the other hand, if I will call Mike and I'll say, Mike, I want you to drive 10 hours to my house from Sydney to Melbourne. And when you get to my house, I will give you $50,000 check. What do you think will happen? He's going to walk from Sydney to Melbourne, not just drive. Why? Because his value is higher. So remember, this is not about us. It is about the people we approach. It's all about value. How do we create value? Knowledge. How do we create knowledge? By curiosity. How do we create curiosity? We ask questions. We must become questions masters. I need to know how to ask the simple three questions. Questions. Question number one, is it okay if I'll expose you to the most powerful toothpaste on the planet? And the only one people should use. Question number two, is it okay if I'll expose you to the most powerful antioxidant on the planet? Question number three, is it okay if I'll expose you to the best e-commerce social media platform available today for humanity? Three questions. And you can ask them at any time. And once a person said, sure, why not? I want you to feel proud. I want you to know your tools, your scripts, your videos, your prints, and go to work. And I promise everyone on this call, if you will literally do what I told you today, 20 to 50 contacts, five to 10 phone calls after one month, you will not recognize your business because even if 90% have brushed you off and told you no, you're still going to end up with almost 30 to 50 people 
every 10 days that has an interest. And we don't need 50 people. We don't need 20 people. MGRS requires one customer and one partner in 30 days. So every time we do not do MGRS, it doesn't mean we didn't work. We work, we just work doing the wrong thing. We work supporting our teams, we work doing everything else except the thing I must do the most every month if I consider myself a professional business person. And if you look at me, the last six months, I did not do MGRS. That is horrible. And it must change. And it will change because this month, I've started to do exactly what I'm telling you as I used to do in the past. Ifra, Hassan, my sister, will tell you it's very easy once you start achieving success, very easy to fall into management. It's very easy to fall into wanting to work with your team and support them and train them. But that might take away from our daily activity of 20 to 50 contacts, five to 10 phone calls, and start the process of next step, next step, next step, next step. And this is all you need to know today. Make those texts, ask the question, is it okay for me to expose you? Once they say yes, send a video, organize a three-way call, and if need be, bring them to a webinar towards the end of the week and help them to sign as a customer or a VIP, okay? I personally think that we should do, and I will leave this in the capable hands of your amazing LD4 leader, Ifra, uh, I think we should do uh, more training of this type, maybe the next time, everyone with cameras on, open, everybody with mics, and we will just do role play, which means I wanna do half an hour to 45 minutes, you guys get on the call, and you just ask me all the objections that you have received. So why don't we take two weeks, in those two weeks, everyone on the call, or anyone that watches this video, make a personal commitment and say, I'm going to make those 20 to 50 texts every day. And I'm going to make those five to 10 phone calls every day. And I'm going to write down on a piece of paper, well, let's call it Ronan Objection Notebook. I'm going to write down every frustrating thing that happened to me, every rude response, every non uh, uh non-result-oriented response, everything that was frustrating me or everything that I feel that is stopping me, write those down. And then in two weeks, we can get on a call and one by one, you bring up the objection and we will do a role play and I show you how I would handle them. This will not only give you massive strength, but it will give you a lot of ideas of how to teach your people. Remember, me doing this with you is not as important as each and every one of you doing this with an extra 100 people that I cannot reach. I appreciate you. I love you. Please take this business seriously, every day more seriously. And I will bring this call back to our amazing LD4 leader, Ifra Hassan. Thank you. Thank you so much, Brother Ronan. I believe Zahara has her hand up. Uh, and I have uh, Berlin also has her hand up. So please ask your questions. Zahra and Berlin, go ahead. Zahra, go ahead, maybe. Yes, um, I raised my hand um, before you answered some of my questions, but I got I got most of my questions answered. And thank you uh, for this was a great great um, presentation today, and I took a lot of notes. Um, one question I have about the people I talk to, most of them. Uh, they complain about shipping. You know, like most of them are, are, I shouldn't say most, but some of them are in Africa, especially Somalia. And they don't have direct shipping from our company to Somalia. And that's what they have the most questions. When they say we are ready, um, sometimes they want to buy something from me and I make the... Uh, I make the VIP Shabra account, I open that for them, and they are ready to order. Then they said, wow, how would I get this, you know, product? 
that's what the most you know difficult that I have. And the second one is um, when I am talking to people through the social media, I ask myself, is there a specific age group that I need to um, contact or is it okay to everybody, no matter what age they are? I, I have a rule for myself that I do not communicate with individual under 18. Uh, that that's for me. Um, I I do not how to recommend on age group. I think it is uh, only if you ask me. I think it's inappropriate for grown ups to connect with under eighteen individual without parental or guardian or guardian consent. So I stay away from this completely. But anybody eighteen and over. Uh, requires my toothpaste requires fountain of life most of them require financial guidance and help so everyone on the planet above 18 will be a will be a good reason for me to connect with regarding shipment i think honesty is the best policy which means if i connect with someone uh in a challenging shipping environment i would prepare them ahead of time i would tell them listen it is true that everybody in the world deserves to use this toothpaste everyone never mind where you live never mind what economy you have everyone deserves to now i do know that in somalia in uh, nigeria in many other places even here in egypt the governments are making it very hard to import products. They want the people to use the manufacturing products of their own country, which is a mistake in my opinion. But because of that, they put sometimes 400%, 300% interest on customs and duties. We cannot control the countries. All we can do is try and achieve the easiest way to deliver. So for instance, here in Egypt, I have tried many things. I've tried what would be the cost of two bottles, 13 bottles. I've tried to see what would be with toothpaste when we bring them. I tried to send them privately from a post office over in Israel to the post office in Egypt. I've tried all of those, cost me quite a lot of money, by the way. I didn't drop it on my partners. I checked, I want to open Egypt. So I checked all the channels, right? And still, uh, nothing I can do. There's going to be almost the, the cost for Fountain of Life here in Egypt to bring one bottle would cost at least, uh, I don't know, about $150 maybe. Uh, all, all in all, inclusive custom inclusive. So obviously we can take it down to about maybe 110 uh, if we get more bottles, right, if we do more. But in reality, uh, my partners, my customers need to know that uh, in their country, it might be more expensive to be able to consume uh, the things that they must consume. They must consume it. If they don't consume it, they will be sick. So um, not really much we can do except leading them. Leading them means learning about group shipping, learning about the advantages, maybe doing the right thing by going to the country like I'm doing here and looking for a custom broker, right? Starting to communicate via the custom of the country, try to improve the processes. But in reality, as much as we want to help everyone on the planet, if they live in a country that the country has difficult regulations, customs, limitation they're literally hurting their own people as much as we want to help them we won't be able to or we find the middle financial economy level or the high economy level in somalia in this particular case someone that is more stable and we work with them to maybe get a direct distribution center in the country to maybe do whatever we can in order to long term improve uh, the the purchasing power of the people in that country now, when it comes to people like us, when we have brothers and sisters from the countries we are born, even if we are no longer in those countries, we still, we care so much about them. Those are our people. And we want them to be able to stop spending so much money they don't have on dentists and being in pain and 
because what we have literally changes the world. So I want it in every country. Sometimes it's a longer process, the same as I'm doing here. Like any normal business, if you want to open a country, sometimes you have to accumulate a few expenses before the wheel starts turning and being efficient, and then you can basically be compensated. But I know that if in two years from now, Egypt is a very, very large market, it was worthwhile the extra thousand dollars I've spent in order to open channels, check the shipping, help my first partner here, right? Because he's earning like $250 a month. That's nothing. And he works like from nine in the morning till nine at night. That's 12 hours every day, seven days a week for 250, right? So the second he got five customers, he's already making more money from opulence than he's making from a month working 12 hour daily. Is it worthwhile fighting in those more challenging countries? Yes, for me, it is. Because I believe long-term, we are doing incredible things. Short-term, you might need to support the more challenging countries. You might need to fly there. You might need to motivate them. You might need to help them, right? Remember, we in Australia, Canada, United States, we are so spoiled, so spoiled. We don't have a clue how easy life is for us. Truly, I am dying to take some people to, you know, come here and see what it is to live in certain other countries that economy is more challenging. Uh, we have it easy. And because we have it easy, I believe we have more energy, more power, and more responsibility to make it easy to all our brothers and sisters everywhere else on the other countries that is not so easy. Hope that answers your question, Zara. Thank you so much. Yes, and Thank indeed. You. Thank you. And I've been in Egypt um, 2016. I've been Taiwan. there nine months and I see the life, the, the difference. And when I came back, that's when I took a lot of action and say, don't take granted everything you have in here in USA. Thank you so much, my brother. It is my pleasure. This is why I love opium so much because we are a global nation. And for me, it's the place I see humanity come together. I know the truth. We are all the same. We all deserve the same. It's up to uh, us pioneers to be able to slowly and with a lot of patience and don't be afraid of the people in our families, our friends, people that don't know. Don't be afraid. Don't need to convince them. Stand strong. Know that you are at the best place in the world and we are here to do only good. No one in opulence can ever lose a dollar because we are not here to make a business first. We're first here to consume a product. And as consumers, all I ever do, even when I get as a lifestyle advisor, all I really do is put $2,000 from my bank to my shopping account bank in opulence. And all I really do is buy products over the next year or two. So it's, our only, it's the only business I know. You cannot lose a dollar even if you don't do the business. You can't lose a dollar even if you don't bring a customer. You can't lose a dollar even if you don't bring one partner because all you do is consume the best products in the world with your own money. So you can't even lose money in this business. It's the safest business I know to recommend. Any other questions? Thank you very much, Zara. Very I see Verlin. Hi, Verlin. Hi, thank you so much for this Friday morning training, going into the weekend rolling. Um, it, um, really enjoying it and getting lots of bullying of the from it. Thank you so much. It is my pleasure. Thank you for being here. Yeah. Okay, Ron, I like to do a role play in two areas where you ask me permission to share. Okay. Um, so uh, where, where did I meet you? Like on Facebook and we don't know each other or we do know each other? Um, we met at um, conference in Canada. We met when? At conference in Canada in 2018. No, no, I'm not talking about real. I know when we oh, met. I'm oh. talking the role play. <laughs> okay, Are you a sorry. person I know? Are you a person I don't know? Uh, someone um, you don't know. I don't know. Just, just basically found you on Facebook, yes. sent you happy birthday. Yes. You came back and said thumbs up like this. Yes, thank you. And I sent you a text saying, 
Uh, thank you for your reply. I always remember my friends on their on their birthdays. I hope you're doing great things. Do you mind if I'll ask you, is it okay for me to share with you the most the, the best toothpaste in the world and the only one humans should be using? No. Your reply? No thanks. No thanks on the text? Yeah, no thanks. So how do you continue? What's what's your next line? How do you continue? I, I never I never received no thanks till today, but okay, no thanks is yeah. good. No thanks will be uh Thanks for your reply, Verlin. Do you mind if I'll ask you, why would you not be interested in accumulating more data? Um, I, I'm just not curious. Wonderful. Do you mind if I'll ask, why are we friends on Facebook? Um, I see we both like fashion, we both like health. So I just reach out to connect. So you're into, you're into the world of fashion? Yes, I am. Wow, that's fantastic. Well, what do you do in life at the moment? Um, I work for the government. Okay, so you're a government worker? Yes. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, do you mind if I'll ask what, what area do you work for the government or is it secret? No, it's not secret. Actually, I work with um, in the secretarial area. In the secretarial area? Okay, and do you love what you do? Yes, I do. Sounds good to me. Do you mind if I'll ask you a personal question? Please do. Okay. If, you had, if you had to choose one area that you would like to see improvement, where would it be? Physical health, mental health, financial health, or spiritual health? Um, spiritual and financial. Spiritual and financial. Mm -hmm. Well, in that case, allow me to ask you, would it be okay with you if I will share with you the best financial platform in the world of e-commerce today? No, I, um, I think I know because I look at your profile and I see what you do, Liz. I, I'm not interested in that. Please, can you share with me what it is that I do? I see you do the MLM thing. Really? But yeah. what is MLM thing? I don't, we have that here. We have this um, Amway and all those different things. Ah, you're talking about the old world of networking. You're talking about Herbalife, Sunride, the Melaleuca, Yusana, Nuni Juice, Isogenics, uh, Jeunesse, Juice Pluses, and all those companies. That's what you're talking about, right? Yes, those, yes. Yeah. Is this different? What's the difference? It, it, it is a totally, totally different world. Uh, and this is the difference between the world of e-commerce mm -hmm. and the world of network marketing. In normal conventional MLM, most people are so busy selling things, right? Mm -hmm. We, in the world of e-commerce, our job is to be able to expose things online all over the world without limitation geographically. So it sounds to me, Verlin, like you might not be very educated about what I do. Would you be interested to know a little bit more of what I do? Well, I know you're trying to sell me something because you asked if you if I, you can share about toothpaste. No, I do not think that you understand the difference between selling and educating, right? So let me ask you, Verlin, do you have kids? Yes, I do. Wonderful. When you tell them information, anything that you tell them that they don't know, do you do it because you're trying to sell them something or do you do it because you're trying to educate them? Educate, yes. The reason I am on social media is because I like to educate humanity as I believe we are not aware of many things, right? And such as a toothpaste and many other things in life, if, if I don't know the difference between one toothpaste to another, how can I make an educated decision as to what's the best for my family? Right? Yeah. Okay, liquid is going rolling. Of course. You see, for me, it's very, very simple, Berlin. Yes, yes. Extend the conversation too. I have, I have 8 billion people on the planet. Mm -hmm. Now, that means that most people, if if they will start with me the way you did, 
Mm -hmm. Most of them will not get this level of attention. I'm only doing it here on the call with you. Okay, but most people, they will be, the, as I say, challenging. They will go to the back of the list, right? Okay. So if, if I basically send you a text and say, will it be okay for me to expose? And you say no, mm -hmm. okay, most likely I'll be too busy already going to the next 50. Okay. And I might actually just respond something short and said, very unfortunate, not sure why you choose not to be educated. If you change your mind, contact me by bang next 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 that's, that's actually that's what i do so i'm so i wasn't sure if it was doing the correct thing yes you are doing it correctly never ever crawl big or or try and please people because that's the first thing that makes them think we're trying to sell them something actually if you're if you're strong and if you know that you're holding the cards you're holding the knowledge you're holding the product you're holding everything and their mm -hmm. life can be better with you than without you, then have an attitude. Yes. Because when you give people attitude, it's usually, oh, my internet is frozen. No, I can hear you. Oh, I'm back. So if you give people attitude, usually what they say is, this person is confident and it's unlike most of the salespeople I know. Okay, all you need to know is the same as you are confident with your kids, not allowing them to go to the street because they're two years old and they don't know that a car can run them over. Mm -hmm. The same responsibility we have towards everybody in the planet because they don't know what is antioxidants, what's free radical. They don't know what fluoride does to them. They do not know that there is a better solution. So we can either be message deliverers mm -hmm. or we can be annoying salespeople. I prefer to be the educator, but when I'm the educator, when my pupil is giving me an attitude, I do not degrade myself. I do not behave like a salesperson because I know that there is another 8 billion waiting for me to reach them. Right? The second you don't let go of a prospect that gives you attitude, you're just diminishing yourself. You're just giving them strength. Right? Our job is not to convince. I want you to know this. Our job is to find the people that needs our product. Now, true, it's everyone in the world, but not all the people in the world are intelligent enough to open their mind and study. Most people are skeptical. And for me, being skeptical is being unintelligent. Not like a lot of people think, oh, if I'm skeptical, it will protect me. No, if you're skeptical, you're unintelligent. Because you see, an intelligent person knows that he can say no at any time to anything. So why would I deny myself out of information or any form of education as long as I can say no at the end. The skeptic will not even get the information. He will miss out. The smart person will get the information and say, that's not for me. Yes, that is for me. Thank you very much. Anyone that will tell me I am not interested to learn something, mm -hmm. for me, you're a skeptical that is hurting yourself. You're hurting your environment. And I do not take skeptical people very seriously because you can always say no without being skeptic, right? It's okay, gather information, it's for free. Gather information. So if somebody tells me, I don't wanna hear, I know that they are at the same place that you were in our role play. Ah, he's trying to sell me something. He's doing MLM. He's right. This is the illusions. But I will tell you one thing, Verlin, that I've discovered in the last 32 years. Mm -hmm. Most prospects, they don't have that attitude. Actually, it's us. We have fears. And we put our own fears on our prospects. Think about that. How many times we are concerned about if I sound like an MLM guy, if I sound like a salesman, 
if 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 all those doubts they project themselves like energy on my prospects the prospects actually sense our fear like animals sense fear so does human and when a prospect sense that we are fearful or unsure of ourselves they will have a party with us they will ask us all the difficult questions because they know they're difficult for us not for them every time somebody says ah, is it a pyramid they are not doing it to break themselves they are testing you to see how you'll behave because most people when they hear the word it's a pyramid they go ah, no no they are testing us yeah and that's why i like to give them funny responses you should see some of the people that come to me and say is it a pyramid i say man this is a supreme commando nintendo pyramid the best pyramid in the world and let me tell you something in life either you work for someone else's pyramid or you build your own that's true do you want to build your own pyramid or do you want to work for someone else in their pyramid it's very simple don't be afraid of the people they need you they are lacking of information they are bombarded by many many different names and companies they don't know anything if they knew what we literally have and i am telling you all there is no company out there in our industry that can come close to us which means if humanity truly knew what opulence global is we already would have had 10 million people in this company lucky for us they don't know yet and it gives us the new people the opportunity of creating remarkable things because in 10 15 years the world will know about opinions global and it's going to be less lucrative as it's going to be now for the next 10 years most people don't understand what i just shared with you very i understand thank you so much it is my pleasure what do you say shall we we'll send everybody to go and prepare for their weekend Yes. After a long thank you. Great Then, thank you so much. I'm going to thank you all and pass it to LD4 Ifra Hassan. I am always available for every time you guys need me to do something, just ask. It's always a pleasure. Thank you so much for inviting me Ifra. Oh, Ronan, I had one more question. Um Please. How do we change the my5? Um I have a very unresponsive my5. So how do we go about changing that? Uh, because um i wouldn't know who's above me and um from my dong line um okay i'm uh, supposed to look for someone from my up line um, okay so who who verlin yeah just just one question who is the most active up line that you have and you know reza reza misgalu yeah wonderful i would advise you contact reza and say reza i have a non responsive my5 can we build a my5 of five people that are active reza can see all the line between him and yourself right so he knows exactly who would be the five most active maybe that speak similar languages that has more experience at least one ld1 one ld2 and one ld3 and above in every my5 okay Does that help you Verlin so please yes, do so. Does. Thank you so much. Okay, and I advise everyone to do if your my5 is not active, go to the first active upline that you know and in 5 minutes ask them to build you a my5 that is responsive and useful for you. Okay? You lead this don't don't expect the uplines to do it for you. You lead the process, the uplines will help you. That's awesome. it. Thanks. Perfect. Back to you, Ifra. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my brother. This was supposed to be a very short. I was like maybe forty-five minutes to an hour, and here we are going into the third hour. I want to thank you so much. I have learned so much. I know everybody. Everybody has learned a lot as well. I'm glad that it's recorded. Uh, definitely, we want to have you back. I'm going to be teaching this in Somali as well. I want to translate everything you taught us today. and uh we we want to have you back so maybe in two weeks time we can have you back you, you and i will communicate and we will go from there 
Sounds perfect. I'm stopping the recording. I will send you. Are you sure you want to stop recording?